All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the brand new episode on the channel. Well, in today's episode of Arm Wrestling Simulator, I'm going to be teaching you seven ways you can get super, super strong in Arm Wrestling Simulator with no Robux. Now, starting at number one. In fact, wait, before we get into number one, smash the heck out of the like button, guys. Please, please, man. Claim your gifts. This is very, very important. Obviously, leaving will reset your gifts, so don't leave the game if you... Uh, my dog. Claim, claim, claim everything. Claim, 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 claim. As you can see, you will get a free pet every time. Well, these these gifts don't actually change, so you can stack these up. If you want to get your first, you know, huge pet, claim your gifts. Obviously, the more combined pets you have, the stronger the pets are going to be. The stronger the pets, the more stronger you're going to be because of the strength multipliers. Claim your gifts, guys. It's very, very important. I can't stress that enough. Now, coming in at number two, you're going to want to make sure you equip your trails. Once you have uh, enough wins or enough trophies for the respective tra uh, trail that you don't have, make sure that you are always upgrading them, guys. Can't stress this enough. So I don't even have the best trail right now. I've got money activated. Equip that. And we can see, in fact, if we don't equip that, so there's no bonuses. If we equip the money trail, we can see a bonus. 150% bonus total strength and uh, a little cheeky movement speed boost of a plus 65%. This is very, very important if you guys want to rush through beating bosses and getting uh, as many trophies as possible. You will get your trophies back, guys. You will get them back. Uh, think, think about it this way. It takes something to make something. You gotta spend a little to make some, and here the trade-off is, you know, spending some of your trophies, and in return, you're gonna get stronger, and in return, you're gonna get those trophies back when you win a bunch more arm wrestles. Now, moving on to number three, tip number three, is gonna be arms. I see a lot of new people sleeping on this on this tip. It's very, very important that you equip your arms. You wanna go into the arms button. You wanna hit crates. If you don't have any arms, open some of these crates. If you don't have any crates or don't have any keys, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're beating as many of these guys as possible. So I believe if I, if I just, here we go. If I actually fight this champion real quick, my all clicks on, so this should be a breeze. 100 trillion strength versus 458,000. You get keys from beating these NPCs at arm wrestles. So after you've beat a bunch of these NPCs a bunch of times, uh, you want to go into your arms, see if you've got any keys, see if you've got any crates, and if you don't have any crates, you can spend wins to, to open them. Here right now, I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to open a... What's my best crate? So my best... I've not really... I've not got much. We're going to open some rust crates. Crates. And let me show you what I get from five rust crates. Use. Okay, so we've got a common zombie arm. At the end of the day, a arm is better than no arm. So even if you only get commons, and if you're not as lucky, if you can't afford to keep spam opening these crates... Even if you have a common, put it on, guys. Just because it's not as rare as your friend's arm does not mean that it's not useful for you guys. Everything is useful. Everything is going to add towards your strength and add towards your multipliers and basically make you super, super strong. Let's open four more crates. Now, remember, guys, like I said, you might get commons a bunch of times, but we're going to do this three more times. We've got another common, but that's actually an arm I don't have, so I'm going to take it. We've got a bone arm, which actually, if we go back in here, that's actually a rare, and we have plus 8% strength. Now, remember, guys... A arm is better than no arm. That's the motto. Comment down below. Arms, if you want a chance at winning a shout out in the next episode. Yeah, I'll be I'll be shouting out one or two lucky people in the comment section. Moving on to number four, rebirthing is very, very slept on. When I first entered the game, in fact, I thought I thought you'd lose your pets if you rebirth. You don't lose your pets when you rebirth. Your pets are probably the most valuable thing in this game, and you don't lose them when you rebirth. That being said, I'm gonna rebirth a bunch of times. You can see here, I guess my base XP is 220%. We're gonna level, we're gonna rebirth, and it's gonna it's gonna go up to 235%. That's one rebirth. 235 to 250, that's another rebirth. 250 to 265, uh, 265, that's another. And each time you rebirth, your strength goes up. You want to rebirth as much as you possibly can until you have access to the super rebirth. I'm not sure how many rebirths you'll need exactly, but just keep going. Get a bunch of wins. Keep rebirthing. Keep rebirthing. Literally do not stop rebirthing until the super rebirth button. Once you get the super rebirth button, you're going to want to press that. Your base multiplier is going to go up. Before I do that, I actually want to just quickly see how far you can go with the rebirths. So I'm going to keep going here. Wow, Celestial, Eternal. Wait, what just happened, bro? Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Well, okay, that's that's a lot of rebirths. That's a lot of rebirths. And you can see right here, the proof is in the pudding. 670 to 685%. When we first started, we only had around like 200% bonus. We have a 685% leveling bonus right now, which is absolutely ridiculous. Moving on to tip number five, Super Rebirth Tokens. Use Super Rebirth Tokens to purchase powerful upgrades. Spending tokens will remove your 100% boost per token. 
Bear that in mind when you do spend these tokens. However, check this out. One token will increase some pet storage. Obviously, the more uh, tokens you spend, the further you get in with these upgrades, the more tokens you're gonna have to spend. So also bear that in mind, obviously, it's gonna be a hell of a grind. But for those of you without Robux, Super Rebirthing is probably one of your best bets if you are trying to get ridiculously strong without spending any real money on the game. In fact, whilst we're here, I'm actually gonna spend a, a Rebirth token. I'm gonna get myself level one Enchant Luck. Bam. Uh, once you've got one point in Extra Lucky and one point in Enchant Luck, it's then gonna go up to eight points. And then I'm guessing after that 15, 25, 30, 50, and maybe the last upgrade might even cost you hundreds of Super Rebirth tokens. So of course it does get very, very time consuming. And you know, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time grinding to get these Super Rebirth tokens, but Super Rebirth tokens are very, very OP. Very, very important. Moving on to number six. Trading is very important. I'm gonna drop the last episode in the description where I actually got every single pet that is following me right now. It was given to me, guys. In fact, I didn't even trade it up. I just got gifted this. Maybe some of you guys might get lucky and get gifted some pets by some friends too, or even some random rich uh, arm wrestling simulator players. But nonetheless, trading is very, very important. If you've got some decent pets that someone else might need, you can then ask them to give them something in return that, that that you might need guys try it out give it a shot get trading let me know in the comment section uh, come back to this video let me know in the comment section if you guys actually managed to get any nice pets from from trading obviously pets are very very important so you want to make sure that you have the best possible pets that you can get and one of the ways to get the best possible pets is to trade you know you might be stuck in an area where you can't get access to the better pets and to the better strength multiplier pets but uh your friend might be in one of the end game zones that has access to a bunch of different pets that you don't have access to all it takes to get them is to just trade trading 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 guys very very important remember that one because every single pet here every single equipped pet i have here was given to me no word of a lie crazy i know last but not least and i think all of these are very very important some more important than others but at the same time i haven't put any you know specific order on these all of these are very very important i think you guys should you know make use of all these methods but quests and limited events are very very imperative for you to get very very strong very very quickly check this out free ugc this one's actually very very new this is a limited event complete the two quests to receive the nightly antlers and what are the nightly antlers is going to give us plus 15 percent training boost which is what is going to make us uh well it's going to make us stronger quicker there's 5,000 remaining so make sure you guys are very very quick with this you're gonna to have to be very very quick and to play the game for 48 hours and train your knuckles 300,000 times and you can get yourself one of the free limited ugc nightly antlers now that's just for a limited event now let's check out the quests hatch the huge lava titan once zero out of one complete the quest in 20 within 20 minutes and you're going to receive uh 25 tickets one diamond key and plus 10 rare cogs now i'll be honest with you I don't know where I'm gonna get this stuff guaranteed anywhere else. Quests will give you guaranteed loot that you can't really get anywhere else. Of course you can get this stuff in other places, but this is an another way to, to continue scaling your character and your progress on Arm Wrestling Simulator. Make sure you're doing your quests. Make sure you're doing as many quests as you possibly can. Kind of neglected the quests and I'll be honest with you, I do regret it a little bit, but it's, it's the fact that I've been given these pets and got super strong quickly with these pets kind of makes up for the fact that I've been neglecting quests. Let's check out the free pet as well. Free OP pet event. Best friend friend six pet cool so complete the two quests to receive the free op pet play the game for 30 hours and train knuckles 250,000 times and you'll get yourself a huge super shark which is um well i mean it's, it's proofs in the pudding guys the numbers don't lie times 10,000 multiplier for your strength ridiculous and you get random enchantments best friend six i'm not exactly sure what that means someone comment down below what best friend six means yeah quests events very very important guys proof is in the pudding they literally say it right here 10,000 strength multiplier once you get your hands on this pet quests events dailies very very important redeem that's all for today guys seven ways to get super strong in arm wrestling simulator i'm going to catch you guys tomorrow for another brand new episode on the channel but in the meantime here's two videos that you might enjoy as well don't forget to subscribe turn your notifications on and of course smash the heck out of the like button if this video has been of any use to you guys until next time